Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today I'm back with another smartphone camera test with the all new OnePlus Nord N20, which I'm using to record right now. This phone just made its debut in the US market at $282. So needless to say, it is a budget friendly device, but I still wanted to give you guys a look to see how the cameras on this device perform and probably do some camera comparisons with the OnePlus 10 Pro and other devices that are on the market to see how it compares to those smartphones as well. As far as the camera specs on the back, you're looking at the main camera sensor, which is a 64 megapixel sensor that can capture 1080p video at 30 FPS. But then there's also two additional cameras on the back, a micro camera and a macro camera, not a micro camera, macro camera at two megapixels and then a depth sensor as well at two megapixels. And then the selfie camera up front is 16 megapixels and can also record 1080p video at 30 frames per second. So now that we've gotten the specifications out of the way for the OnePlus Nord N20, let's go out and take some photos and videos with this device to see how it performs in everyday use. Let's take a look. You're just gonna sit here? You're gonna come play? And this here's a look at video capture from the selfie camera at 1080p 30 fps which is par for the course for any budget friendly device these days but honestly when compared to most oneplus devices or pretty much any oneplus device it's exactly where you're going to be getting even if you're spending 900 dollars on the 10 pro though the quality of the video itself is probably going to be a lot better than what you get on this device if you're buying a much more expensive device from oneplus
And this here's a look at video capture from the main camera on the back of the OnePlus Nord N20 in low light conditions. Again, we only have that one sensor on the back of the phone recording at 1080p 30fps. So if we do want to zoom in, it is a digital zoom. As you can see, it's extremely grainy in situations like this. Best off just using the One X. And yes, this sensor is not that great in low light conditions. Typically you'd be able to see my feet there as I'm walking, but this one here didn't pull any light whatsoever. Now that I'm closer to the light here, you can definitely see a little bit there, but definitely a lot darker than what you would get on most flagship tier or even mid-range devices. And this here's a look at video capture from the selfie camera on this device, low light conditions. I would have to say, if you're gonna be recording at night with this phone, I honestly recommend switching over to that rear camera because it's gonna be a lot better. I'm gonna show you that right now just to see the difference of what you're gonna see on these two, this device with recording from the selfie camera to that rear camera. Okay, so this is a look at the rear camera. Now, I know, it's kind of hard to frame yourself when you don't have a screen for reference, but honestly, if you simply hold the phone out right in front of you and point it directly at your face, you should be fine most of the time. Of course, this would be easier if there was an ultra wide camera on this device, but unfortunately, there is not.
And that's gonna do it for this initial camera test with the OnePlus Nord N20 5G. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you think the cameras on this device are good enough for you to use on a day-to-day -day basis for capturing your photos and videos. I do plan on having a full review of this device coming up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. And be sure to check out fandroid.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.